it is time to reclaim some space in my freaking refrigerator and deal with eggs and get my countertop back and all the places because the ladies are on point right now. So right here we have roughly five and a half dozen eggs. I have six dozen on the other countertop that have not been washed and an untold amount in a basket on the other counter that have also not been washed. And I'm putting down a towel because I'm just pulling the stuff out of the dishwasher right now and I don't want to get the countertop all wet or the eggs wet or water in with what I'm doing. So that's what's happening. Hello and welcome back. This is my kitchen in early spring when the girls are on point just popping out eggs left and right. We're going to go through and freeze some eggs this time and in our next video we're going to go through and freeze dry eggs and they are used for different purposes. So I hope you enjoy and if you like these types of videos please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That would be super awesome. Thank you. All right so we have three, six, nine, 12. There are 12 little bowls and I have four more in the dishwasher and we got 12 lids. I got my little ramekin to crack my eggs in because you never know and you don't want to ruin anything. So I'm just going to start popping eggs in there. I'll scramble them once they're in. I'm going to close the lids and then I'm going to find a place for them in the freezer and see how many eggs I can get into. I think I have 16 in total container. Well, that's better. Oh, I forgot to get the egg bowl. Egg scrap bowl. All right, looks like about six in each one of these, which is fine. And I had seven in here. So these could be used for scrambled eggs. They could be used for baking anything you need six eggs for. Two of them can be used in a casserole. So on and so forth. You just have to pop them out of the freezer and thaw them out. And my eggshells are going to be rinsed off and put into the compost, which will either go into the compost bin we created a couple of weeks ago, or it'll be ground up with the coffee grounds and fed to the worms for another form of compost that we do. Leave a comment down below if you would like to see how um, we do our worm, worm bin, our which is another form of compost we do, which is where these eggs ended up going. I did uh, clean them off, dry them out, and put them in with the coffee grounds, ground them up. I left a few holes to give the worms some hidey holes to go and have fun in and play in, and so they're not completely and utterly bored. Why well, I can't break an egg right now the right way? Beyond me. I don't know. What you doing, kid? Well, I'm gonna scramble them in here and then freeze them. If we want to make a casserole or a choco recipe of anything that calls for two eggs, you can do that or three eggs, whatever. But I think what I can either do is oh, I barely crack a freaking egg. Obviously, today I'm having issues. Um, is that each of these has six eggs. For me to make egg noodles, it takes three eggs per batch. And I make two batches in one go. So I could thaw one of these, whip it into egg noodles, and have it a day. But we're cracking one at a time because I do not want to waste an entire bowl if one is rotten. <laughs> I can just toss it in the trash and get a new thingy and call it a day. And we would know it is rotten by the stench <laughs> because we will be running from this house. Got all the bowls filled. Six eggs a piece. Move my criddle. If I don't have egg gooey on me, I can use a regular towel. <laughs> all right. We have reclaimed some egg cartons and room in my fridge. Okay, so now, all we do is scramble them. I have a fork right here. I have a little egg whiskey guy. I do not like the egg whiskey guy at all. He is annoying to me. Bye-bye, egg whiskey guy. 
Okay. Dude, take the egg. Give me a fork. Old school's better. That's such so much faster. And no, I am not picking them up. And I am putting my other arm behind my back because I am a freaking klutz. And we're just trying to mix them up without spilling them. I wonder if I could just close them and shake them. That would probably be the best for us. But these are getting frozen because they have been washed and sitting in the fridge waiting for me to do something with them. And now I'm finally doing something with them because I need the space in my fridge bag. And I know there might be, well, why didn't you do all that before you put the eggs in the bowls? Because then I wouldn't know how many eggs were in each bowl. And I need to under I need to know how many eggs are in each bowl so I know what I can use it for. Two to make casserole. One to make two groups of egg noodles. Easy peasy. One would be enough scrambled eggs for me and my husband for breakfast. Why well, don't you make the scrambled eggs beforehand and then freeze them? Because they get plasticky. Come on, dude. I didn't want this to take my entire lunch hour, for crying out loud. Yes, I'm doing this on my lunch hour. Because it has to get done at some point. And I need to take a break because I was getting the squiggly little bright lines in my eyeballs. We're totally trying it. Let's see. Okay, yep. We're doing this a new way. We're going to shake it, shake it. I am totally double checking that these lids are on all the way. Because I'm not that crazy. <laughs> All right, so if I do it this way, it doesn't go as bad. Don't turn it on its side. Or do that right on my wall. I don't even know why I'm doing that. I have more eggs. It's egg mageddon. Room temperature eggs, much easier to do this way. You don't have to be near as vigorous. It doesn't leak. Everything. Bagels. Sharpie. Yes, I keep them right here. All right, that's two, four, 16, because I used all of them. And I like these because they wash off. So just because I'm marking these, they are not forever those containers. Oh, right, and the egg do too. Thank you for joining me for Egg Mageddon 2024. The chickens had gone insane this year. This is not the only project we will be doing with these eggs. Join me next time for freeze drying our eggs. Pin automatically back to the drawer so it does not get lost nor stolen. If you like these types of videos, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. I would highly appreciate it, y'all. Thank you, and I hope you have a blessed and magical week. Enjoy the wrap-up. Eight dozen eggs taken care of, I think, right? Two is a dozen. So, two, four, six, eight. Yes, eight dozen eggs. I'm also not mathing today. Google Sheets and Excel and I are having issues today as well. Just so you know. Oh. All right. Wipe up the goose.
Time to go shove these in one of the freezers, see where they're going to fit, and get my butt back to work.